Okay, it's a, it's a pleasure having you on the show. Uh, welcome. We're going to be talking about uh, MDR and uh, stuff. I hope we're okay. Yes. Thanks for inviting me there. Okay, your company is now valued in the billions. How does it feel to become uh, the seventh unicorn in Africa? See, uh, you know, life uh, is a lesson of humanity. And every scenario of a component has, you know, risk and rewards. And KPI is just putting it all together. So if I see that, you know, it gives a motivation that, you know, your company has achieved something, but, you know, it doesn't give any special motivation by adding such status of a unicorn. But, you know, it adds value and it adds, you know, confidence that a company is, you know, crossed a certain revenue and still in the profit stage where certain other unicorns are making losses in the country and the continent and we are one of the only companies who is making profit at this such revenue scale and you know uh, other than that if if i see the africa market is so huge and such a tech savvy young population that i see technology growing more and more over the years projects uh, interest in most of southwestern african regions uh, could you elaborate on this and how are you able to scale across the region? See, uh, our MDR investment, which is part of Mesar Group, is a venture capital fund to acquire, you know, the large capital ventures in mining, shipping, and infrastructure and road projects. So what our experience and revenue shows us with the government and everything is, you know, they have a certain confidence with us that this is the company who can build it. You know, if, if we talk about the Africa development, there are, you know, primarily there are three key points which Africa should understand, you know, for the future of Africa is one is the developing Africa. Second is access to the finance. And third is the strong institution and the governance. So these all three things, if you see the access of finance has been provided by us and there is certain southwestern regions where we've been getting the tenders and there are certain people, you know, who are asking us that how you will implement such tenders is it because of favorism or not but you know see even if we connect to someone in the bureaucrat or the government whether we are able to implement or not this is the primary question and they see the entire revenue generation and the system that this company is credible enough to fulfill the projects or not see getting a tender is one thing and implementing is another thing you might get a tender or a project with the favorism but implementing is another thing that is where you get the multiple projects for the future. So it all depends upon, you know, how you perform these things at the early stage. Sometimes people say to us yeah, that you have built a technology company, which is, you know, doing a billion dollars valuation. But suddenly you are coming in into all the infrastructure projects. But when I tell them that, you know, the specific reason is not only the technology, we already have a capital access, financial access in our organization to invest in the certain projects. And we are also connected with the several countries government because of you know technology which we have already built and why not leverage those connections and when we have a capacity a mdr is making inroads in uh, the mining sector can you speak to us about uh, those plans and how has been your experience see there is a famous saying that to a ship brokers coal was once a gold See, the mining is already a very uh, complex business in Africa and the entire world is eyeing on Africa for the mining business because Africa is, you know, abundant and plentiful of bountiful, you know, resources of natural resources. Now, if, if we talk about the mining and certain mining which have been allotted to us, see, we, have, we also have, you know, the companies who are already have experience in doing the mining extraction work but they do not have the correct capital and finance in place to do the entire cycle in place. For example, you know, I give you, if you get a gold mine and you extract the process, you know, it's not only extracting the gold, it's also to selling the gold at the right country and getting the money back to the country. And all those processes and everything there is, that is where our strategic partners like us come in place. Now we, when we get the tender of mining or anything, you know, we also get a call, you know, that leave this mining and, you know, give us this mining project and, you know, be out of this particular thing. But, you know, our way of working is very straightforward and, you know, all these things come with the experience. And if you see that, you know, 
the other companies which where we are doing the tie up we have we are also been sharing you know the correct fees of the particular partner who is implementing you know that particular process so mining i see a great future and it has been un- unexplored and untapped in the africa market a lot of people are eyeing that that a correct partners and correct amount of capital and the network is very important in this particular business mm. how how do you see east africa in in large capital ventures is the region ready to attract mega projects east africa has a very uh, well you know location geography wise which has advantage to the african continent because africa is very close to middle east market and you know if you talk about the data africa faces a substantial infrastructure challenges but if you see the gateway to the eastern africa from the middle east and other southwest region is very accessible because the you know the people feel more comfortable because if you see kenya rwanda tanzania and uganda it's very easily and accessible and you know african development data also shows that you know there is a fresh allotment needed to allocate to the africa for the infrastructure development like 130 billion to 170 billion and like us when we have got you know certain capital from venture capital funds to invest in this large capital ventures and certain more bigger giants are associating with us you know they also want to invest in africa and they also do not know the process and regulations that is where they call us and tell us to do the collaboration and we implement the project on their behalf and we also you know do the entire end to end chain solution mm. east africa definitely has a very big potential uh if you have any particular or special message you'd like to give to to our audience the african market in general before we come to the end of this small interview we were have we were having uh please uh give the message uh see my message to entire africa continent will be you know there's a very famous saying that the strength of a crocodile is in water and people are very strong in their you know right environment and africa is the right environment and the right place because the young tech savvy population which i keep telling to the viewers is nowhere seen in the world and the young population so you know this is one of the message people should understand africa has a untapped potential and it's time you know for africans also you know to explore the ventures you know like the other foreign nationals are doing okay thank you mr pratik for for the time and for the interview i hope you have a good day